forward. All right, welcome everybody. I see some new faces. I loved it. Oh yeah, I can't. Remember. Okay, I want to share my screen. You guys see that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about the leadership ladder. Some of you may or may not have heard of it before. And those of you that are newer coaches, um, you know, it's, it's good information to know because I didn't really know a whole lot about the leadership ladder. Um, it was just kind of like when I would move up it, it was like, oh, you're a this now. And I'm like, oh, awesome. Like, I don't know what that means. Um, but they've been pushing the leadership ladder a lot lately because, um, you know, yes, rank advancements are important, getting to emerald, getting to diamond and producing diamonds, like that's all important too. But really, like when it comes to doing the daily behaviors and moving your business forward and seeing a um, change in your income, that really comes from the leadership ladder. So I just wanted, I pulled all the information, I'll show you where I got it from um, later on, but I just wanted to kind of go through and talk about it with you and just um, show you a little bit so it's kind of in the back of your head. So uh, just some announcements to start. Uh, the Water and Core group, I think it's going awesome. I don't know about you guys. Um, I think there's a lot of interaction. I think um, there's a lot of people that are posting on the Water posts, and uh, I think the recipes are going over well. I see you know people liking those and stuff. Um, I think we had a little issue yesterday. Some people couldn't find the Core workouts, but that's the only hard thing is when you're on your phone, like the pin post, you actually have to click um, the post to open it. But I think like if people remember that it's there, uh, but yeah, I think it's going well. I don't know if you guys have heard anything from your people in there or not, but uh, what I usually do is um, tomorrow I will probably check in with all those people I added into the group and just say, Hey, you know, what are you thinking? What do you like? What's, what's your favorite part, you know, and make sure they don't have any questions or anything. So I just kind of check in with them, make sure that, you know, um, if they're being engaged and if they like it or if they have any questions, that kind of thing. Um, Monday, May 16th, um, I was kind of thinking um, for like a theme because I know some of you like to have kind of like a theme or something you're posting for. Um, I know for me, like kind of my – my market is those busy moms, like moms with little ones and stuff. And I know some of you are that way and some of you aren't moms and that's not your market. So I was thinking if we kind of like went for a busy moms or like a busy women get fit kind of theme for Monday. Um, so that way, like if you, if you want to go towards like just general and busy women, like you could do that or if you want to do busy moms. Um, I was just kind of thinking something like that. So, um, if you have any other ideas, let me know. But I know, like for me, that's probably what I'm going to start kind of posting about is about being busy because I am softball started this week. And so like my head is spinning with a million things I have to do. Um, so that's just kind of what's on my mind and my plate. Uh, but if you definitely want to reach out in some other way, like that's totally, totally fine too. Just let me know. Um, and then with the challenge groups, with the posting about Shakeology, um, Megan was telling me the other day she had a challenger who um, just bought the 21 Day Fix. She didn't buy Shakeology. And after being in the challenge group and seeing everybody post about their Shakeology, she's like, oh my gosh, like everybody's drinking it. Okay, like I guess I better drink it too. And so then she's like converting to going to drink Shakeology. So um, I know I am not the best at posting my Shakeology. I know that that is one thing I struggle with a lot. Um, but those of you that do an awesome job and those of you that struggle like me, um, just continue to post it. And I know it's one of those things for me, like I know I need to make a better job posting it too, but that's just the same thing as posting your workout, your challengers see you do that and they, it just builds that credibility and it helps other people see how important it is too. Um, other thing I want to do is run a little success club blitz. And so I was going to have it end on the 15th but I'm going to extend it. And so, um, I, I just bought this book, um, the energy bus. I don't even have it out of the box yet, but, um, it's a book I'm going to start reading either at the end of the month or, um, the beginning of June. And so if you guys want to read it with me or if you guys want to kind of do it together or whatever, um, but what I'm going to do is if you hit success of five, 
by the 20th, I'm going to put everybody's name into a drawing for whoever gets to the Success Club 5, and the winner will get a copy of that book for free. So that's kind of what I'm going to do for a prize for this month. Um, so some of you that are at, um, so that's either helping three or two people, um, or one person, depending on where you're at with points. So, um, hopefully that makes sense. If you have more questions about that, let me know. But basically you want to try and get to success club five by the 20th to be entered into that drawing for that book. So that's what I'm going to do for May. And then here's our shout outs. Megan Geese, just, she kills it every month. Like I if we could all just pick her brain like just one night, I think we could all benefit from that. Um, Julie's at four, Abby's at two, Leslie two, Brittany two, and Aaron one. So if you have points, this I updated this at like noon today. So if you have some that you got this afternoon and they're not up here, um, shout out to you as well. So, all right. So let's get into this. And now I can't see, kind of. Okay. So. Maybe you guys have heard a little bit about um, the leadership ladder before. And if you haven't, um, again, like I said, when I first started, I didn't hear about it at all. Uh, but they're talking about it more and more. And when I say they, I'm talking about like the top coaches and um, more of the people in the corporate office. And they're kind of looking at this as a new ranking system. And like I said at the beginning, yes, having those rank advancements is important. But moving up the leadership ladder is a sure way to show that you are doing those vital behaviors. Um, getting to Diamond, getting to Star Diamond, it's hard. It's not an easy thing to get to those ranks. Um, and the leadership ladder kind of fills in those gaps in between the rankings along the way. Um, and again, it proves that you are doing those vital behaviors. Uh, you also tend to see your income increase or move up with the ladder. And like I said, it also helps to meet those uh, smaller goals. So like all this information I'm going to share with you tonight, um, if you want to like look back on it and do a little bit more research on it, if you log into your back office and then click news and trainings and then scroll down to training, um, all the rankings are on that side as well as the leadership ladder. So most of the stuff I pulled off of that site, but um, these are the different rankings, and if you're just starting, you are you are a coach. That's your rank, and then there's business starter, team builder, team leader, organization leader, and executive leader. Like these two, I'm not really going to worry too much about and talk about tonight. Um, but these two are ones I really want to talk about, and um, we'll talk about team leader a little bit as well. So, um, like your commissions or your bonus points. Um, that is on what we mean there then success club so you can see how important success club is as that helps you every month to move forward and then here's your rank all right so they do take into play like your rank and then what this means is how many coaches personally sponsored coaches you have with success club points and then your week leg -like volume and then eventually having your own team leaders so the first one is coach and business starter um, and so what I really just want to hit on is to show you how, how you make these things happen. And it's by doing those vital behaviors every single day. So as a coach, as a business starter, where all of you are, you are, you're connecting with people. You are inviting to a challenge group. You are selling at least three challenge packs a month, a month, which leads to success club five. So you're meeting success club. You're drinking your Shakeology and working out every day. Um, at least 10 minutes of personal development, um, taking that time just to sit down and read and kind of build and work on yourself on the inside. You're enrolled in a coach basics training. You listen to the national wake up call and I can show you later where you can find all those recordings if you aren't aware of where those are. And then attend training events, you know, when possible, you know, every um, quarter we have those so obviously it's not like this weekend you could go to a training if you just started coaching um, so when possible you're doing those things so these are the things that you should be doing every day and hopefully these sound familiar from our coach basics and this is what you need to know is those four vital behaviors so you're inviting you are being product of the product personal development and then the fourth one that they've added in is recognition um, know your story and how to share it. So have you had an amazing weight loss transformation? Have you had an emotional transformation? You know, what is your story? And then how do you share that to connect with other people? 
Um, your social media, media skills, those are going to start improving. Your niche, so who, who's your market? Who are the people that you connect with the most? Um, you know, what to share, how often to share, those kind of things, you're working on that. Knowing the value of Shakeology and the challenge packs, and then the fitness programs that you do and the ones that are promotion on promotion. So you know these things. And again, to be a business starter, you are selling 100, dot or 100 points or whatever in commission. You have Success Club 5 and you are a coach. So really, once you get started, basically you sell three challenge packs or you hit Success Club 5 and you'll become a business starter. So really, those of you that are just starting out, hitting Success Club 5 should be your goal and it should be something that is written down and that you're thinking about and in order to do that it revolves back to these things so these are the things that you are doing on a daily basis in order to get to that success club five um, this was something I pulled from a video I was watching and the way that he explained it and so um, to get to that business starter. So those of you that are just starting out, you're brand new, to get to that next rung, you are a coach, which you all are, you're signed up as discount, or you're signed up as coaches, so you're a coach. You get $100 in commission, which if you are selling three challenge packs, you get $120 in commission. So sell three challenge packs, get to Success Club, $100 in commission, and you're good to go. Um, in order to be that coach, you have your Shakeology on HD and you get your 90 PV. And again, right here, in order to make these two things happen, you're helping three people. Um, whether it's a customer or a discount coach, however it comes about, you're helping three people get a challenge pack. So you're getting $120 plus dollars in commission and Success Club 6. So not only with this $120, you know, you're getting your Shakeology paid for basically too. You look at that, you're breaking even. And you're getting that next rung of success club. So you are moving forward by doing those vital behaviors and moving forward every day. So then the next rung, this is where some of you are at right now, is you are um, rank wise, you're probably an emerald or a ruby. And your next rung that you're looking at is team builder. So you're continuing all of those behaviors we talked about up there, um, but you're adding in continuing to develop relationships you're focusing on getting your customers results because we know that if your customers are getting results, what do they do? They end up being your, your go-to coaches and the people that are going to um, have a great story and are going to find others to help them. You're hosting challenge groups or you're helping to run them. You're sponsoring new coaches and getting them into Coach Basics. You yourself are getting enrolled in an Emerald to Diamond training. You're scheduling a power hour where you can sit down and get all your things done. You're posting about what personal development books you're reading. You're inviting people to the coaching opportunity, recognizing your coach's success club points. You're sending thank you messages and you're hosting a free group. So these are the things that as an Emerald or a Ruby that you should be looking into starting um, to do. And knowing this, you know how to convert customers to coaches how to successfully onboard, bring on new coaches, and then your social media, like you're creating content to attract followers and to attract others to follow you. Um, you're using the business activity tracker, which is just your way of tracking who you're talking to. You know how to check your coach office reports, uh, preferred placement, personally sponsored, et cetera. And at this point is when you wanna start looking at that compensation plan and how team cycle bonus and all of that works in order to to maximize that. So here's the benchmarks that are a little bit different. You're getting $250 a month in commission, Success Club 5. Notice how across the board, none of them change to 10, right? They all stay at 5, okay? So really, it just comes down to those helping those three people at least. You are an emerald rank, so you do have those um, at least one discount coach on each side. Here's the thing. Here's how you move forward. You have two spon personally sponsored coaches with one or more success club points. So at this point, it's not just you. You are building a team. So you have two personally sponsored coaches with one or more success club points. And on your week leg, you have 200 team volume. Okay, so you are, you know, maybe you put your spouse on your week leg, and when you're working their account, then your week volume goes up from them and so on. So 
They really focus on that weak volume and building that business. But here's the kicker. Here's where it's big is that you have two coaches with two or more or one or more successful points. Here is that um, chart from that same call. So your benchmarks, you're an Emerald, 250 in commission, successful five, two personally sponsored coaches, and 200 week leg volume. So what does that mean? You have to have Shakeology on HD. You are helping three people get started with challenge packs, and you have three HD customers, okay, because that helps with your, um, your week leg volume. And you have at least four personally sponsored coaches on a week leg, and Shakeology and one new customer, okay? So you are getting customers, you are building your success club, you are helping your coaches reach success club, and the results, you get that 90 PV, you have this amount in commissions, you have success club, and you have that 200 week leg, okay? So you're continuing to build your team and move people forward. Now, here's a big one, and um, all, all of you are, mostly all of you are sitting here at team builder, okay? Or you're at business starter or coach. Um, transitioning from team builder to team leader um, doesn't happen overnight. Um, I think for me it was probably September is when I was team builder and then I didn't hit team leader until February. So. Um, it does take time, but then again, I didn't really know anything about these two things until all of a sudden one day I like clicked and I was like, oh, like that's where I'm at or whatever. Um, so, and this is where it's big is I know, you know, you've reached that diamond or you reach that one star and you feel like you've arrived, but really until you hit team leader, that's really kind of that sign that you are doing those behaviors and that you're moving forward and you're building that team. So you are continuing those activities, you're developing Emerald and business builders, co-hosting the coach opportunity, you're leading activities like coach basics and team calls, you're helping your team members set goals, recognize your top performing coaches, one-on-one -on -one calls with your upline star diamond, you're enrolled in new diamond calls, you share corporate communications with your team, create videos to share, recognize and tag your members on social media, engage and promote the monthly specials, message your coaches and check in. And then you know this, you know how to attract people, you're continually improving your social media, effectively communicating with your team, you set business hours, prioritize your activities, understand and use the team reports. So over here on your benchmarks, so you have $1,000 in commission. So you are selling and you're racking up $1,000 of points and commissions. Um, you have success club five, you are a diamond or above. You have four personally sponsored coaches with at least one success club point. And you have 5,000 team volume on your weak leg. So not only is it, you know, building commissions and building your rank, but they also strive that weak leg because um, some of you that have been here for a while, you know that that weak leg is what helps you with that team cycle bonus. And some of you that are just starting out, you know, we haven't talked a ton about this in coach training, um, but eventually you want to do what we would call stacking your weak leg and optimizing your bonus and those kind of things. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. So um, I, I'm not, I did slides on organization and executive, but I, I don't want to make your head spins too much. Like I, maybe it already is. Um, and some of the new coaches are probably like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, do you guys have any questions or anything? before I kind of go in and show you how you can find this. <clears throat> I'm not even sure who's. Okay, and like I said, I, I wanted to share this information with you because I didn't, I was not made aware of the ladder. I was not made aware of how it worked and what it does and what it really means. Um, and so like I said, they're just talking more and more about it as they go, but really you can see these, these things, here are you, like that's you. You're getting commissions, you're getting success club, but the rest of it really revolves on your team and it comes from, um, and it's not just you. Yes, you are the only one that you can control, but the way that you, um, and it starts, it starts back here with all of these basic things 
you know, um, inviting and drinking and being proof of the product and then helping your challengers get results. So let me show you um, over here. So here's where you can look and see leadership ladder right here. So you can click on this and you can see like here's where you are right now and here's where you were last month. Okay, so you can kind of um, tally it on that way and you can check it out that way. Um, while I'm over here, the national wake up call, this is kind of off track, but if you click on that on the right hand side, here's where they all pop up and then you can just click listen to the replay and it will come up as a thing. So, as a recording. Any questions or anything on the leadership ladder at all, you guys? Okay, one thing I did want to show, I know after last week somebody asked me and I said I would make a video and it never happened. Um, so I'll show you right here maybe, oh, there. Okay, somebody asked me how I make um, my friends list on Facebook. Um, and so what I do is like over here you scroll down it says friends because you can see here like I've got um, here's like all of you guys in my um, coaches tab if you go down to friends and you click more there's all of my lists you can click create list and then you can name it whatever you want and then you can add the members to it and then I always add mine to my favorites but then what happens is when you click on it then all of like you guys, those are the posts I want to see. So I usually try to scroll through and just like see your stuff and, you know, see what you guys have going on and like and comment and that kind of thing. I do that with the people that I'm planning on inviting and trying to connect with and stuff too. So that's how I do, that's how I do that um, on there. So you just scroll down to friends and then more and then create list. And then you can add whoever you want to in there. So, oops, okay. all right, that's all I got. That's all I have for you guys. So, does anybody have any questions or comments or anything? Where's Megan? Megan, no questions? As you can see, like, with that ladder and with all of that, it really, it just comes down to that hitting success club. And um, I know sometimes, you know, you get people that don't respond or you get people that say no. Um, and that's okay. Like, that will happen. Um, but for me, lately, when I've been getting no's, like, I just I add them to my list to check back in a couple months and and just just know that somebody out there needs your help. You know, you look at all these faces on the screen and they're all here. You're all here because somebody asked you or somebody posted or, you know, those kind of things. So just remember that when you're doing your posts or when you are inviting and that kind of thing. Think about where you would be if somebody had not asked or invited you. So. All right. Well, if nobody else has any questions or anything, I'll let you guys go. That's all I had. Usually I talk more. You can tell I'm tired. <laughs> Thanks for jumping on, you guys. Um, oh, in a couple of weeks on the 24th, so yeah, like two weeks from today, um, a gal that I met in a diamond training, I talked on her call a couple weeks ago, and she is going to come and talk on our call um, on the 24th. So she's really good about uh, like posting on social media and she's pretty good with like Instagram and stuff too. So I think that's what I'm going to have her talk about. Um, she worked in corporate America for several years. I mean, I think she's in her forties maybe. So, and she just like retired as soon as she got home from the success club cruise. She, put in her two weeks and she quit and now she's full time. She's diamond, um, building, working on building her team and stuff. So she's going to come talk to us on the 24th. So pretty excited for that. She's, she's a, um, intense lady. Like she's very, very outgoing, very out there. So, all right. Well, you guys have a good night. 
I will let you go and do some invites or do whatever it is you're going to do. So, all right.